My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letters Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. In this episode, we shall be looking at derivatives of function of a function, also referred to as composite function. We've done sum and difference, we've done higher derivatives, now we are in composite function. Now look at something and look at something very very carefully. If I give you a function like this, a function like this, and a function like this, and a function like this, compare it to this function. Now, comparing this guy to this guy, you will understand or see that they are different things entirely. Here, yeah, you see that this is one function entirely, S squared, which is um, algebraic function. Then this is a function again, another thing entirely. If you look at here, you will see that here is one function that can stand on its own. Here is another function that can stand on its own. Here, you see, it's a function that can stand on its own. Here is another function that can stand on its own. But looking at here, 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 and here, you cannot tell me that you can bring out two different functions that can stand on their own. Even here, if you remove 5x squared plus 2, then what is cos what? So cos cannot stand alone. Anytime you see functions like this, that are the same function, they carry power. But despite carrying power, they don't have any other function outside that can stand on their own. All these ones are referred to as composite functions or function of a function. Now, if you compare this with this, here is the same thing as here, but this two is a constant. Once the value outside the bracket is a constant, just leave it like that. Don't take it as a product rule. I am trying to compare composite function and product rule. For here, here, and here, you apply the product rule because two things are being multiplied. This guy and this guy are being multiplied because s and sin s are being multiplied here. Then s and cos s are being multiplied here. But in this case, it is just a function carrying another function. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime you see something like this, this is what you do. Forget grammar, forget formula, forget law. So long as it's a composite function, if you have 2s plus 3 squared, what you should do is, one, differentiate the bracket. If you differentiate here, it's simply a sum and difference differentiation. You will get 2s. When you differentiate 2s, you get 2. When you differentiate 3, you get 0. Because differentiation of constant will give you 0. So, dy of everything inside here is 2. You bring out the 2. Use the power to multiply the result of differentiating the bracket. That will be times 2. So, this 2 times differentiation of here. Then, write out the bracket. Then, subtract 1 from the power. That is it. So, for guys, the rule, when they say uh, du is this, dv is that, no. For composite function, follow this method. Your life will be so, so interesting. So that 2 times 2 will be 4. Then, 2s plus 3 raised to the power of 1. This is your answer. Nothing more, nothing less. And with this, we come to the end of this episode. See you in the next episode.